this is Katie Weeks, your independent close to my heart maker. And today I'm joining with the CTMH Twisted Sisters and kicking off a week of fun videos. And I'm going to be twisting the Let's Party card making stamp and thin cuts. And I have a lot of ideas. First off, I'm going to make it into a graduation tassel. You could always make it a mop head or a broom, like even for a witch. You could make it into hair behind somebody's head. Um, but I'm going to bring in some other things. So I'm going to use a lot of those thin cuts. I can also bring in the Sweet Memories card making. I'm bringing in the Looking Forward Stamp of the Month. This is my Stamp of the Month card one. I'm bringing in the Let's Party Scrapbooking Stamp and Thin Cuts. I'm bringing in some new thin cuts, the Photo Frame and the Window Frame. Lots of products from the new catalog. And when you get this kit, um, if you are getting my Stamp of the Month, you will already have that one little word white word strip die cut already stamped off with the word congratulations what you'll need to do is take out this Sundance die cut and you're going to want to stamp it in the bluebird now I will caution you to be very careful and make sure that you line up your scallops as you see right here I did not do the best of job lining up my scallops. Ugh, and it wasn't the best stamp impression anyways. So I'm gonna flip it over and do take two. And um, sorry, my hair is getting in. I just really needed to get straight down over the image so I could do it. And that one was much better. So I guess I ended up doing it on the dark side of the Sundance, even though I wanted to do it on the light side. And the next thing, this is the bulk paper for the Let's Party um, pack. And I am going to put one piece of this like confetti looking paper on the inside and then I'm going to mount this pretty close up near the top. I need to leave a little room at the top. You'll see why later. Um, but I'm going to put it up near the top and then I need to leave a little bit of a gap, probably a quarter of an inch or more. I did a little more, about three eighths of an inch and put that congratulations on die cut underneath it. Next, I'm going to lay up the layer up the next Let's Party paper and the dark side of the Sundance. And um, it takes me a couple times to get this squared up, but that's how it goes some days, right? Um, I could always go back and trim this off. And actually I did even after I took pictures. And I'm just kind of trying to dry fit where I'm going to put everything on here. So this is going to be a graduation card. I cut out 2024 for you so that you could use it this next year for a graduation card. And I think I'm going to take this zip strip and put it on about one inch from the bottom of the card. I trim that little bit off and then I'm going to adhere my numbers for the 2024. And I didn't line them up perfectly. I kind of made them go wonky every which way. And while I'm laying this up, I'll let you know that this is card one for my customers who get the Looking Forward January Stamp of the Month with a qualifying order in the United States. A $50 order on my, on my website, katie.ctmh.com. And you can add this stamp set on for uh, the Let's F Looking Forward stamp set. You can add it on for $5. Now, if you want the thin cuts, it's more than that. Um, but if you're a VIP and you pay, place a qualifying order, you can get it for free and you can still add on the thin cuts if you'd like. Okay, the next thing I'm doing, this is where some of my twists come in. So my Sundance has that little um, string banner that's where you're supposed to hang all the little tassels for like a party banner. But I'm cutting off all those little nubbies and 
I am trimming that off of both of them and we're going to cut this into four pieces. Now don't cut it exactly in half. One of them needs to be much longer than the other three. So, um, and I'm also using that square. This was actually cut out from the inside of the three by three photo frame. Uh, you could cut just a black square, but I was trying to use new products and this worked out perfect for me. So I cut that cupcake thin cut out in black and you know how you have the little cap part of the hat that falls over your head? Um, it's not quite big enough for that cap part, but since it kind of hides and goes into the numbers, you can't really tell. It just gives a little bit of effect that that's part of the cap. And then I'm measuring where the middle would be for having that tassel, the string to the tassel hang to the middle of this square. So this one will be the longest one like this, and you want it to fall directly to the center like a real tassel would on the mortar board, I guess is what we would call it. And then I put in a bunch of Bluebird and Sundance uh, tassels. You can do it however you want. You can add some together. I know some tassels are multicolored, um, but I'm just going to do a Sundance one here. I really think those tassels would look adorable if you go back and put a shimmer brush over them. I didn't do that on here, but uh, that would be a nice little touch to make it really stand out. And then all of these little black squares I'm putting on the inside and I'm covering up part of that stamp of the month. I really didn't want butterflies on here. It had nothing to do with my graduation. So um, I'm using these little black squares from the window frame thin cut. And again, you could just cut like, um, I think they're about Mm, probably seven eighths of an inch square. Um, you could cut those from cardstock too. And I'm just putting some of that party string as part of the tassel on the mortar board. And then um, I'm putting some of these tassels on top of that. And it gives it just the perfect little amount. Now I did trim down some of these tassels, the ones for the inside, because I thought they looked a little long. That's not necessary, you wouldn't have to. I'm just kind of fussy, so I trimmed mine down a little bit, and I'm not even sure if I trimmed them off as much as a real tassel would be, but I did trim them down just a little bit. And you notice that when I'm putting the adhesive on the back of these tassel strings especially, I'm doing it on that all-purpose mat. That works so great because the adhesive sticks to the back of that string or and then the rest of it stays on my all-purpose mat. And then I can just use my rub and erase um, um, eraser and um, get the excess off of there. So I'm just the rub and remove, sorry, the rub and remove eraser. So I'm putting all of these on and then there's one thing that I did not show you earlier that will also be in your kits and that would be the gold glitter gems. And so I thought those gold glitter gems were the perfect little center to put on these mortar boards to hold on the tassel. So I know sometimes they have black things. You could color it if you wanted to with like a black spectrum nor marker, but I really liked the touch of the sparkle from the gold glitter gems. So I put tiny ones on these three little graduation caps and a big one on the top. And isn't that fun had to have one graduation cap all the way over to the left on the inside? A lot of times we don't decorate that other side. So make sure you check back each day to the playlist. I will continue to add the other Twisted Sister videos each day to this playlist right here so you can see those.